Hello YouTube, Hipster Kitty here, and today is my full review and thoughts on the Razer Death Adder Chroma. It feels amazing. Um, I did an unboxing video. You can check out in the link below. Um, so yeah. All right. So first of all, uh, what I like about this mouse, personal thoughts on it, it is a very comfortable mouse. Um, I think that that um, the way it's shaped, instead of, you know, the Razer Naga Epic, um, if you can search that on the internet, or I could put a dis picture on the screen, um, yeah, here you go, pause the video if you want to see it, um, but right here, uh, it's kind of like, uh, it goes straight down to the mat, and if I can get my light to shine over here, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And I got better lighting now, so you can actually see the mouse. But it does, it does come down a little bit different than you uh, would expect. Like it goes straight down, as you can see. And the Razer Naga Epic, as you can see on the um, screen here, it has like a, it has like a weird shaped back. And I, I, oh, I was okay with it, but I love the way this feels. Um, that's feel on it. But the texture of this is amazing too. I love it more. It's not sleek. It's kind of like a, I don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of hollowish feeling, but it is very nice. I could just sit here all day. It, it it's I could sit here all day holding this mouse. It's like something I could play all day with. And what's nice about it, it has two clicky buttons on the side. And I actually have it bring up Task Manager on my computer here. One second. But, uh, so it's two clicky buttons, and that's the only thing, though. There's only two. That's what I thought in my head, you know, for MMOs, it's not the best. But, you know what? It has one, two, three, four, five programmable buttons. You know how? Because the scroll, actually, six, seven. So the scroll wheel here, if you scroll up, that's a button. If you scroll down, that's a button. If you push down on it, that's a button. If you push this down, that's a button. If you push that down, that's a button. If you push that down, that's a button. If you push that down, that's a button. If you want to see that, those are the two buttons. If you do that, though, you can program all of these through Synapsis, which I love. I absolutely love it. And this is Chroma, too, so don't think this is not Chroma. It is. I just have it on green because I love the color green. That is my color, even though my LED lights on my computer are blue, so... But, yeah. So, that. And to talk about... How the mouse performs, the performance of the mouse, this has 10,000 DPI, meaning it can fly across the screen like nuts. So this thing was only 70 bucks, and I'll put the link in the description for the Razer website again if you guys want to check that out, or you know, you can get it right there if you want the, to go get the mouse. But, um, so yeah, so the Razer Death Adder Chroma, it is a beautiful... It's got beautiful, what is it, 10,000 DPI. Yes, see, it says 10,000 DPI. I only use about 5,000 or 3,000, mainly 3,000. 5,000 is ridiculously fast, and 10,000 DPI is absolutely just astonishing fast. Like, you can move an inch, and you can go, like, a 360 turn within, like, a half inch. Or so. it's, it's really fast. But I recommend this mouse for just kind of gameplay because I already have a uh, Razer... Uh, Black Widow Chroma, I can program any of these clicky keys to anything I want. So what's the point of having all of these buttons when I can program, let's say, these keys for MMOs to something down here while I'm in game? So I don't have to worry about that. But if you do not have this, probably should get the Chrome, um, the Chroma uh, Naga Epic, so you can kind of game like that. But I recommend this one because if you want a cheap gaming mouse that's really good that'll last a long time, I recommend this mouse right here. Logitech has some good mouses, so you can check them out. I really haven't gone into Logitech because I bought the keyboard uh, earlier, so I, I didn't even think I liked the style of Logitech. I just love the way Razer looks. It's so black and sleek. It might be a piece of crap, and it looks cool, but I always try to get the best mouses that'll last a long time, and apparently my first mouse wasn't going to last as long as I thought it was going to last, meaning I thought it was going to last, like, way longer than... I imagined in my head, and I was like, whoa, we should get this, we should get this, I wanted it for Christmas, and I got it, it was 120 bucks at the time, now it's only 89 bucks. This is 70, which is pretty dang good, so if you go to order a game or something like that, pre-order a game, or uh, buy a game, it's the same price pretty much, except like $10 more for a mouse, 
for a gaming mouse that feels legitly good. And it has little grips on the side, as you can see, too. That's a new upgrade on the mouse here, too. So that's very nice. And it's very freaking light. And so I can uh, weigh this. Um, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back with the scale. I'm going to weigh this thing. So we're going to turn it on. I believe this is grams. Oh, wow. It tells you temperature, too. Oh, pounds. 10 pounds. Ounces. Okay, we're doing ounces apparently. And this thing weighs three ounces. I think there's a point there. So 3.4 ounces. That's how much this mouse weighs. 3.4 ounces. It is very freaking light. I mean, I. This has got to be the lightest mouse I've used so far um, for wired. Too. That's the other thing, you get a little drag with the wire, but you know what, I don't have a problem with the wire, so that's one thing, if you do not want a wired mouse, don't get it, but if you want a cheap, good, strong mouth that's gonna, mouth, I said mouth, my razor mouth, sorry, um, a really cheap, but solid and good razor mouse that is programmable just like the rest of the other mouses, then get this one. So yeah, so that was my review, I hope you guys enjoyed like I said, you can go ahead and check out the Razer Mouses on the Razer Sub website or check out my first impression views in the link below. So you can check that out below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So like, if I can fit my finger in here, like, subscribe, and I will catch you in another video.